As Vision for Hoboken opens its campaign headquarters, I bring you an exclusive interview with Hoboken mayoral candidate and 33rd District Assemblyman Ruben Raymond. What can you offer Hoboken residents right now that the current administration is not doing? I think if you look at the current makeup of the city council, when they, everyone just says it's a 4-4 city council, I think our number one goal of the campaign is to bring people together. If you each and every single council member as an individual and approach them individually to find solutions to solve the problems in Hoboken, not the combativeness that we currently see taking place where nothing is currently happening and the, ben and, and the residents of Hoboken lose out when nothing happens and people in the government isn't functioning properly. Residents have reached out to me and, and just been sharing uh, their frustrations about overdevelopment, property taxes going up in Hoboken, and overall just some disarray within the city council, and overall just at City Hall. Again, what can your administration bring to Hoboken residents right now, especially the taxpayers that really are just sort of up to here, as they say, with politics? What is the Ramos campaign and the vision for Hoboken offering right now? Well, first of all, what we're going to do is listen to our constituents. That's how government functions best, when you're listening rather than just speaking to them. And I think right now, like I said earlier, with the 404 City Council, nothing happens for them. I think they're looking for solutions and by reaching out to residents and understanding what their concerns are and saying, okay, overdevelopment would be a concern. Let's do things a little bit differently, smarter, better, more efficient, more efficiency in our government, making sure that government is working for them on their behalf, reaching out to us, being open, being transparent, and again, trying to solve the, the issues that people care about, lowering their taxes, finding there's a surplus now, being really careful and transparent with our budget, how we're spending our money, what our priorities are, finding solutions to the problems, finding a flooding solution to our problems, open space to, solutions to our problems, so, and, and saying development is an ugly word, smart development is what we need to have at Hoboken, and that's what we're, we're offering the residents. Right now, as we see the political landscape in Hutchinson County changing, um, do you at this time anticipate any endorsement and or support from the Hudson County Democrat organization? Because I know you are a registered Democrat, mm -hmm. I know so is Mayor Zimmer. Yeah. Have you heard anything in terms of where that support's going to be leaning towards come November? No, right now I, I haven't and right now my, my main concern is just uh, going out door to door and meeting the residents of Hoboken and, and speaking about the concern that they have and speaking about the ideas that we can have and the solutions that we, uh, we want to present to the public going into the election. So we're not really concerned about outside endorsements per se. I have many relationships with members of uh, our elected office and democratic organization throughout the state. Obviously, want to work with all those elected officials to make sure that there's ideas that they have that can help Hoboken residents out. We definitely want to listen and, and, and uh, have their feedback and have them on board in that aspect too. But right now, we're just concerned about the residents of Hoboken, those constituents, and reaching out to them and making them part of this campaign. As we know, this is not your first campaign that you've run. Um, what challenges do you still foresee, uh, considering the fact that it is July, whether it's about raising money, whether it's about going door to door, whether it's about mobilizing, grassroots? What do you see right now as, as either your biggest concern or obstacle heading into November, since it is you know, roughly almost four, four and a half months away? Yeah, right, right now, obviously, it's a, in the summertime, it's a little bit of a low in the summertime. We've been organizing for the past three or four months, culminating with the, with the opening of our headquarters today. And it'll be open every single day from here until November 5th. And we're going to organize and knock on doors and, and, and meet people. And, and you know, I, I never stop meeting people. And that's one thing I've, I've always said. I don't, I don't just go around election time. I'm around all the time to reach out to people and make myself accessible to everyone. So this is just something that we do on a normal basis. Normally in the summertime, I've gone out and, and did lit drops and mail pieces and newsletters of, of what I'm up to in the state legislature. But now he's going to take it to a, a whole new level. Not just what we've done and accomplishments we have in the past. As a member of the city council, as a member of the legislature, what we've done to try and enhance and improve people's lives and quality of life. Friends of Hoboken, the third, third district. But what we can do in the future for them. And that's really vital in the, in the, in the month leading up to September, where we really get in the day-to-day -day of the campaign and think of it when people are back from summer vacations and really uh, going door-to-door -door and really getting active into uh, to the campaign going forward. Okay. One last question here, Mr. Ramos. Uh, leading into the fall, uh, are you interested in debating Mayor Zimmer? Uh, somewhere in the city, I'm not sure what the format will be, but also are you interested in having Hudson County TV participate in this process since we are looking to get the most up-to-date information for Hoboken residents in this election? Uh, obviously, that's a no-brainer. I mean, uh, having a debate the moral candidates in Hoboken is something that's always been done. I would expect this to be different, and, and uh, the more outlets that want to participate in it to get the message out to our constituents, what we're talking about, what issues are important to them, and where we may, where we stand on those various issues, I think, is, is vital to the dialogue in any election. So I look forward to, to 
debates, as many debates as we're going to have, whether it be three, four, or five debates, whatever, whatever numbers agreed upon, I'm, I'm ready, willing, and able to participate in those debates. And the more media outlets that we have to, to bring the message across to, to the constituents in Hoboken, the, the better it will be overall. Now, Mr. Reynolds, we appreciate your clarity. I know a lot of residents were looking for answers. Hopefully we brought some today. We wish you the best luck in the campaign. We'll be seeing you on the campaign trail here leading up to November. No, I really appreciate you you're coming by today and, uh, and covering more. We'll have more uh, more of our platform being uh, being addressed as we get close to the campaign and weekly addresses there. So look forward to you, to you coming by and getting as much feedback from you as possible and getting back to our residents as we go along. Thank you very much for coming by today. All right, Mr. Ramos, appreciate your time. I appreciate it. Thank you.